<coughs> hello, hello, hello there. Right, uh, or should I say, shalom. Um, now, some of you are uh, very interested in knowing the real reason, the real story. Uh, many are speculating, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to come on, I'm going to speak to members of my organisation and, um, and explain to them uh, why I pulled myself off. And um, when it comes to fraudy, um, it, it, it was important to talk about uh, why me and this chap have split up and gone our separate ways. Um, and, and it had to be done. So there are a number of reasons, but I'll, I'll, I'll begin at the beginning. I'll, I'll give you my truth. Uh, just like, I feel like I should be on this morning like Phil. He's, <clears throat> he's, he's giving his truth and I'm giving mine. Uh, so basically I was very I became very concerned along with many white hats uh, when Fraudy um, got pulled off uh, the American tour uh, and um, it wasn't just anybody um, that made that decision. Um, it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't a stage manager or, or somebody kind of insignificant. It was Eric Trump. Fraudy got pulled off by Eric Trump. Um, not many people can say that, um, but to be pulled off by Eric Trump, I mean, that's serious, isn't it? That, that doesn't happen every day. And I had to take that seriously. Uh, and, and I started to think, you know, if it was anyone else, I might have ignored it, but it was Eric Trump. So I thought, do you know what, I, I don't, I'm not sure I could do it. So I spoke to some White Hats, the good guys, higher ups, and they said, not keen, not keen, not a good idea. I think it's time you went your separate ways and it was at that point that I pulled myself off. Just, just the thought of Eric Trump made me do it. And, you know, what, what else could I do? Uh, I take the Trump family very seriously. And, you know, and they're all Jewish. I don't know if you're aware, but uh, President Trump's first wife, <clears throat> that would be Ivana Trump, uh, if you look it up, uh, she was Jewish. Uh, and I know some of you will say, well, how, how was she Jewish? Because when she passed away, it was a number of weeks before her funeral and her funeral was held in a Catholic church. Hang on a minute. A white hat, a higher up, a good guy told me she was Jewish. So I'm going to listen to them. Um, and, you know, and her th three children were Jewish, you know, because they're, they're often pictured at the Wailing Wall and they go, they go to Israel often. And some of you will say, well, yeah, that's because... Ivanka Trump married Jared Kushner, who is who <clears throat> who is actually Jewish, and she converted. And so their children are doing. Hang on a minute. A white hat told me that her mum was Jewish. Um, and then all of this talk of 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 Jews made me remember that I'm Jewish. Um, I am a Jew of Jewish extraction, and and <clears throat> and in in and. and, and you know, I know I've never mentioned it before, and, and I've not talked about it, um, and, and there's sort of there's no history of me ever suggesting that I, I was Jewish up until this point, but I am. Uh, and, and you might not have noticed, actually. You might think that I am mostly bald with a few hairs along the back, uh, not hair. No, this is actually, uh, it's actually a kipper, um, colour coordinated with the snazzy sweater. Um, so actually, um, I am <coughs> proof. I'm, I am, uh, I'm, I'm a Jew of Jewish extraction. And, um, so there. So because of all of that, I thought, I, ca I can't do this. I've got, I can't be with him. Can't share a platform with somebody who denies things that happened in history. It's not acceptable. Uh, it's really wrong, actually, and he's not the only one that, that, that does it. That, that bastion of intelligence, David Baloney, 
was at it as well and trying to corner me with all of that sort of talk I'm not having. It's not good for my brand. It's not good for my <coughs> organisation. Uh, so I'm not having it. Um, so, yes, I am. I, I, I'm a bit of a Jew. I'm, a, I'm very much a Jew. And, uh, and I've always worn these. You've just never noticed before. Um, quite good, actually. Do you know, these also act um, uh, as a, a, a repellent to 5G. Uh, they protect. They do protect that area. Um, especially if you pop one of these bad boys underneath it. You could just, they just slip under uh, the faux shield. You can pop one underneath uh, and it's got that link to being a Jew. And it's also... It protects you as well from that five, that bad guy five. Um, and, you know, I, I just feel that this was the time to to separate myself fully from fraudy. I don't quite, I haven't quite worked out how we're going to do the med bed QFS, the Sarah Jasara business. I haven't worked that out yet um, because one of us is running one thing and one's running the other. And I, I don't know how it's going to work. <clears throat> but I've got to focus on my uh, my organisation and that's just how it is. Uh, so, um, but, you know, speaking of me being Jewish, I thought it was also <clears throat> highly appropriate to start merching new products. So I'd like to introduce you to um, to the CC Menorah. See this CC menorah. Um, Bicky Peg put scented candles in it. You can use it all year round. Uh, that that's what these are for. Just great candle hold. But they're called menorahs. Uh, if 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 you didn't know. Um, and uh, we're going to be merching those on mass um, with the with with the connecting con artist logo on. Um, so you'll be able to use that. Great. Um, and also going to merge some of these. Uh, some of my uh, uh, organisation members, great at crocheting, so we're, we're going to mass produce these. We're just going to have a little CC on the back um, so we know where they are and, and enough room um, to pop a faux shield in. Um, so I, I just think that, that that's, that's where this organisation needs to go. Now I have come out as Jewish. Um, and and I think it's just really, really important. So um, I'm going to go now. I've, I've actually got a meeting uh, with my rabbi, Rabbi Goldman. Um, <clears throat> in fact, speaking of gold, um, have you ever thought about investing your 401k uh, or, or your pension somewhere really, really safe? Um, and uh, uh, did you know that I, that I have Lyman's Gold? Um, if you if click on Lyman's Gold, you can invest today and protect your family's future. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it just reminded me of that. Uh, and I, I feel as though that is spiritually very, very important right now until the QFS Nasara Jasara goes live um, and, and we can redeem those zims and dongs. You should invest in gold. Just thought, just a thought, just a thought. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I've got to go. Uh, the rabbi is waiting. Uh, can't keep him can't keep him waiting so uh just muzzle off to you all uh, and i will see you on the next broadcast right thank you thank thank, thank you very much Hello there. do you have an ira as in an individual retirement account or perhaps you have a 401k. Well, if you do, then what you really need is gold. Not the sort of gold you really grab hold of and have a really good squeeze. Not that sort of gold. No, no. We're talking about the sort of gold that you can't see or hold or feel, but you just, 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 just got to trust it's there. And I'm talking. Lyman's gold. I'm Councillor Lyman Sharks and I'm talking to you today about gold. That's right, I love gold and I'm, you know, I'm quite, <clears throat> I'm not legally qualified 
uh, to, 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 to give you details about your, where you should invest. But, but, but this, is, this is just something I've done personally uh, that, 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 that I think works. Uh, and I know uh, that Lyman's Gold really works. Uh, and, and I know it does because I have been doing rather well, <coughs> rather, rather well, uh, with what I've invested. When I've invested your, uh, my, <coughs> my, my money, my money in gold, it's been incredible watching that value just keep going higher and higher and higher. So high, in fact, that you just feel like the king of gold. Well, if you want to be like the king of gold then you really do need to invest in Lyman's Gold. I know I've been telling you all about, you know, the QFS uh, and, and how that's coming soon, uh, along, <coughs> along, along with the beds. And it is, I mean, they both are, I mean, they, they are, they're definitely happening. <clears throat> definitely going to, but before the QFS really gets launched, even though it was launched in 2021, and we, we, <clears throat> we, we, we told you that, before its official launch, uh, I think you really need to be investing in Lyman's Gold, uh, because it's so important uh, that your money <clears throat> go, goes some, somewhere, and, and, and why not in a pyramid, uh, MLM, why not in a Lyman's Gold scheme? Lyman's Gold, uh, because it's going to work hard for you. You won't need to do a thing. All you've got to do is just click, just do a clickety click on the mousey. Uh, and, and when you do that, uh, and, and the mouse has been clicked, uh, then you'll find yourself on Lyman's Gold. And Lyman's Gold really is a breath of fresh air in a world of pyramid schemes and MLMs uh, that don't have my name attached to them. Uh, but <laughs> Lyman's Gold is definitely the one for you. So once again, Lyman's Gold, that's exactly where you should be putting your IRA, your 401k, or if you're in the UK, just dump all of your pension in, just go for it, just go wild. Lyman's Gold, sign up today. I pulled myself off. There's just the thought of Eric Trump made me do it.